Hello, my name is Fred David. I'm Professor of Management at Francis Marion University and co-author of this Strategic Management Textbook published by Prentice Hall. Co-author and I have developed a series of short, less than five minute videos on various topics, tools, concepts, techniques in the textbook. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for studying strategic management, being excited about strategic management. The topic today is the space matrix. It appears in chapter six. It's one of five matching tools that businesses are widely using to help formulate alternative strategies. Coupled with the BCG matrix, the IE, the, the grand matrix. This space matrix stands for strategic position and action evaluation. Notice there are four axes here, financial position, industry position, stability position, and competitive position. Basically what teams of students do in studying in chapter six and preparing a strategic plan for their business, they rate their company, their assigned company on these four dimensions. Financial position, IP, SP, and CP on a one to seven scale. For example, financially, one to seven, seven being wonderful, how strong is your firm? And if you use the Excel student template at the strategyclub.com website, which I recommend you use because it's, it takes the mechanics out of formulating these and drawing errors, the template is going to allow you for four or five factors under each of these dimensions. So basically with regard to industry position, you're going to rate your, the industry that your firm is competing in, you're going to rate them on a one to seven scale, seven being wonderful. On things like growth potential, financial position, going forward. On competitive position on that axis over there, now we're going to switch gears a little bit. A negative seven is a bad thing. That means they're not, you're a very weak, weak competitor. So if you're going to rate your firm on things like product quality, customer loyalty, employee morale, uh, and, and on a one to seven scale. Down here on the final axis on the bottom, SP, stability position, that refers to how, how stable is the industry that you're competing in. So for example, if it's vulnerable to technological change, it'd be very unstable and you'd want to rate your firm like a minus, a minus seven. So minus seven is not good, a minus one or two is good. As you can see from the green dots we've, we've placed here, you're going to add the two coordinates on the x-axis, add the two coordinates on the y-axis to plot a, a coordinate. And here we end up with plus, plus two, minus two. And that's where this vector is going to go. So as you see in chapter six, there are numerous strategies proposed historically that have worked best depending on which vector, which quadrant your, your, your company is, is located in. For example, down here in competitive, probably, probably implying that you would perhaps do horizontal integration, that is acquire a rival firm perhaps, or more, even market penetration or, or market development would be good there. So we've got aggressive, competitive, defensive, that would be things like retrenchment, laying off employees, closing plants, divestiture even down in the lower left, and, the, and, in the, and in the top left, conservative, probably market development, backward or forward integration, not, not straying far from what you do well. So this, this matrix, coupled with the BCG, the IE, the GRAND, gives you insight on what your strategic plan's recommendations should ultimately be. This matrix generates, uh, like the SWOT matrix, another matching tool in, in Chapter 6. You know we're matching internal with external factors, and that's what we do here. So thank you for being here today. Thank you for studying the space matrix, strategic position, and action evaluation. Use it, use it, and uh, I encourage you to use the Excel student template at the website, author website that will help you generate the mechanics of this. Uh, thank you for being here today. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next segment. Thank you.